everyone, this week we are back with another copper melt. This week I am going to be melting down some copper pipes which I acquired. So for starters, I'm going to hammer these pipes flat so that I can fit them all into my crucible at once. Alright, now it's time to fill up my crucible. Hopefully it will all fit inside this time. Today I have some new molds that I want to try out. They're graphite instead of the cast iron ones that I have, so I have to be a little more careful with them. I also have some new tongs for pouring that I'm using today. How old is what? Not the new recording. That's the first blister right there. Right, here you go. Don't lean over it because this is like, yeah. Try not to go over it. Actually, dad's slag. Stuff. It, was, it was going while well. we had that. Look, those pump. went so nice. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, that's but it's hot. hot. Yeah, but it's hot. It's fine. You ready? Just a spoon, why don't you just use a spoon? Look it out. Yeah, don't. I don't think so. I want to break the graphite. Yeah, good point. Yeah. These ingots, though. Yeah, me too. They came out really nice with their shape. That's a pretty cool one. Look at that, just like that, it's orange. Okay, so here's what we have from that copper. I'm excited to put a nice finish on these new ingots. Before I polish anything, I'm going to clean up the sides with my buffing wheel. 
I'm interested to see how many bubbles there are when I cast with this type of mold. Okay, so as you can see, those ingots came out beautiful. I'm very happy with how these new ingot molds worked. I look forward to using them more in the future. I also like the shape that they are. It's a nice difference from those cast iron mold ingots. And I have to say, I love the new tongs. They made pouring that so much easier than it has ever been before for me. Okay, that is all I have for you this week. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please consider leaving a like and subscribing if you did. And I will see you next week. Bye!